Welcome back to David's Tutorials video series on understanding tabs in Microsoft Word. In the previous video, we covered understanding the concepts including tabs and tab stops. If you missed that video, please click here now. In this video, we cover how to insert your own tab stops. One of the biggest helps in seeing where your tab stops are placed is the ruler bar at the top of your document. If you do not see the ruler bar, simply click on the View tab of the ribbon bar, then click on the Ruler checkbox. You can see clicking this box toggles the ruler on and off. Now let's add some tab stops. One way to add tab stops in your document is through the Tabs dialog box. You can open the Tabs dialog from the Home tab on the ribbon bar. Then in the Paragraph panel, click on the Paragraph Settings button in the lower right corner. This will open the Paragraph dialog. In the lower left corner of this dialog, click on the Tabs button. This will open the Tabs dialog. Another way to open the Tabs dialog is to highlight a few words in your document and right-click on the highlight. As you can see, this will open a context menu. Move your cursor down this context menu until you find the paragraph item and click on it. This will open the same paragraph dialog as before, at which point you can click on the Tabs button in the lower left. In this Tabs dialog, you have complete control over all tabs in that paragraph. Let's enter a couple of tabs to show you how it works. In the Tab Stop Position field, enter 1.5, then click the Set button. Next, enter 3, then click Set again. You can see in the list of Tab Stop Positions just below the Entry field, both tabs we just entered are listed. Now let's click OK to close the dialog box. Now we'll test these tabs. I will now type my tab key, type ABC, then I'll type the tab key again, and type DEF. You can see that the ABC is at the 1.5 inch tab, and the DEF is at the 3 inch tab that we set. Using the tabs dialog gives you precise control over the placement of tabs, but it doesn't give you visual feedback. You can place tabs with visual feedback by simply clicking in the ruler bar. On the sample line you see here, we have turned on special character visibility, and you can see there are tab characters in between each pair of letters. It is very simple to add a tab stop this way. First, be sure your cursor is in the line where you want the tab stops to go. Then click at the appropriate place on the ruler bar. In this case, I will put tab stops at 1.5 inches, at 3 inches, and at 4.5 inches. Watch what happens to the positions of the letter pairs as I click to insert the tabs. Here's the one at an inch and a half. Here's the one at three inches. And here's the one at four and a half inches. That takes care of how you can insert tab stops in your document. In our next video, we will show you how to move and delete tab stops.